Hey guys, Danny, founder of Silky Socks here. In this video, we're gonna make this team socks design and change the foot colors as you see to create this beautiful mock-up that you could present to your clients. So, are you ready for this design tutorial? Let's jump into it. First thing we're gonna do is jump to silkysocks.com under templates and click team backgrounds for socks. That's gonna pull up a number of free background designs that we have available for you to download and use for any of your clients. Today we're going to choose the rain camo design and we're going to go ahead and open it in Photoshop. We also have a PDF that you can open in Illustrator and other programs. This is what it looks like when you first open it. Now you can hide the sock image so you can focus more on your designs here. You actually want to hide it when you start redesigning the layout. So now we're going to remove the current logos and proceed to plugging in our client's logo for this job. So under file, we're going to go to place embedded and that's where we're going to, we're going to locate his logo from our computer and place that. That should bring it in on top of your file as a separate layer. Then you go ahead and resize it and place it where you want it. Now the left box represents the left sock. So we're putting a centered logo on the left side and we're duplicating the layer here to create another copy of it for the right side. So that way when we're sublimating a pair of socks, you can have a logo on both sides. Next, we are going to adjust the background color so we actually don't want that yellow background color not black either we want to change it to white so we're going to double click the layer and go to the color overlay section and change that to a white background now it's time to change the rain effects so we've got, we call this design the rain camo because it's got all those raindrops on the top and bottom. And we're going to select some of them and start matching them up to our logo in different colors of the actual logo itself using the eyedropper tool. So we're basically double clicking different color fills and picking out a different color that's on this Basketball Beauties logo. As you can see, there's a lot of them. And so the file is set up where the raindrops are grouped in a few separate groups. So you can just double click one group and adjust the color like so. So we're just double clicking every time there and that brings up the color picker. And then using that eyedropper tool that comes up give it a little light blue there let's keep going we'll do the purple now from the l right there and these are all different letters that were combined to create this logo so for those that maybe don't know graphic design too well choosing different fonts and different letters to combine a logo is a great way to design a logo but anyways we'll continue here adjusting all the rain now that we've completed that we want to make our basketball beauties logo stand out a little bit more on the white background so we're going to double click the logo and give it a drop shadow so you can do that by clicking drop shadow and then you can play around with the levels here to give it more or less of a shadow then we're going to hit ok and bam, we've got our logo with the shadow on the left. And we're going to go ahead and copy that layer and move it over to the, the logo on the right by doing copy layer style and paste layer style to the logo of the right. And that should make them match up. Now we want to hide the guides to make sure we don't print out our guides on our sublimation transfer sheet. And one last thing here, the Silky Socks logo, which we previously had as white, needs to change colors in order for it to be visible. So we're going to click that and go to Color Overlay and change it from white to black. 
There you see it popping into the sock design there. I like the idea of putting a logo on one side, so if you're trying to brand your sock, you put it on the back or the front. It gives you a nice little touch. So save your file here as a JPEG, PDF, or PNG. Either of those formats should work just fine for you. And save the PSD if you want to have an editable file as a backup in case you ever need to change these files around. Now that the file creation is complete, I need to make a mock-up of this file, which I'm going back to resources. Now this time I'll go to templates under the mock-up section, and it'll pull up all these Photoshop mock-up files. So remember, there's two different things going on here. First, you design your actual print file, which you'll send to your sublimation printer. And then you want to create a digital mock-up that you can show your client. And that's what this step is for. So you open the Photoshop file up, and it shows you this pair of socks, kind of in a dynamic 3D sort of looking thing. And you're going to right click on the layer that has this clipping mask made. And you're going to go to replace contents. That's going to make it real easy for you to substitute the current artwork with the file you just designed. So now we want to go and find that file. There it is. And watch what it does. Boom. It just replaces the file right there and places it for you just like we designed. And then you can click on the layer and adjust it left and right to kind of center it and fix the centering. Then you can scroll down and change the foot color. You can see these different layers. The one gives it a black foot. If you hide that and bring the one on underneath, that'll give you a different colored foot. So you got to make sure you just hide the layer on top of your foot to, to get the different colored feet that are underneath. So we got the white foot here. That's the one we want. Ready to make these things? Let's make some silky socks. Press, press, press. 400 degrees, 35 seconds. Ooh, the basketball beauties. So yeah, I'm making some black socks here, even though we designed white socks, but this was the only footage I had available to show you guys. Sublimating those awesome black socks. Here we go. I'm wearing the white socks here, though. So I definitely had some footage of me wearing these things that we just designed. Hope you guys learned a little something from this tutorial. You can also check out our online design lab and Silky Socks mobile app. Those are two alternative ways to make mock-ups. Here is a preview look at the app, free to download on App Store and Google Play. And here's a look at the website. When I click Design Lab, I can choose from all of our products and design my own by clicking Design Now, and it loads there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit up silkysocks.com for all your sublimation blank needs for socks, t-shirts, underwear, and more apparel. And we can't wait to bless your feet and bless your business. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.